Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My name is Sajad Daya and I'm the CEO of Sparkster. In the next five minutes, I'm going to introduce you to the future of software development and the future of cloud computing. Okay, so what's the problem we're trying to solve here? What we're trying to do is we're trying to, win, we're trying to facilitate worldwide adoption of blockchain technology. But there's a number of problems with that. So if you look at existing technologies, they can't handle the throughput. There's not enough software developers that understand blockchain technology. And fundamentally, it's too complicated. The architecture of blockchains, most people just don't understand. So how do we solve these problems? So the Sparkster platform enables you to build smart software. Now smart software is an evolution of smart contracts. This includes artificial intelligence, IoT, smart contracts. But here's the key, in plain English. That means that every single one of you here can build software for some of you for the first time in your lives with the Sparkster platform. And you can do it without learning anything about software development. So how do we make this happen? You drag and drop controls on a page and you build pretty interfaces. And then, here's the logic in plain English. Create and display number of nights as a number field. Set the total cost equal to the number of nights multiplied by the cost per night. What you don't see is you don't see any of the plumbing that most software developers have to deal with. And then you can integrate that together, whatever you've built, with other things like APIs from QuickBooks or anything you can imagine. These APIs you can, you can integrate yourselves to with no code. Software development in the Sparkster platform is 100 times faster and easier than traditional software development. We have interests in our platform from companies like Cisco, Nestle, Huawei, right? Um, we have a partnership with Arm. So this is the real deal. And I invite you to check us out on stand 117, where we'll give you a live demo of the platform. But that's not what I'm here to talk to you about. What I'm here to talk to you about is how the Sparkster decentralized cloud will facilitate 10 million transactions a second, which I think is critical to the adoption of blockchain by the masses, right? Which is one of the fundamental challenges we have today. So why would that happen? So let's look at the problem with cloud computing or one of the challenges today with cloud computing and why I think decentralized cloud computing is the future of cloud computing. So think about Amazon. Amazon has to pay for physical servers. Amazon pays for a building. Amazon pays for backup power. Amazon pays for maintenance and security people, and so forth. Well, if software was executed on your mobile phone, what's the cost of executing that, that software? It's near zero. And that's fundamentally why software, that's the fundamentally why cloud computing will be disrupted by blockchain technology. And we think we're the people to make that happen. Well, what I'm here really here to explain to you is why or how we build a platform that facilitates 10 million transactions a second. Okay, so this is what the network looks like. There's three types of miners. There's uh, compute nodes, which are mobile phones. There's storage nodes, which are the red ones in the middle. And there's verification nodes. And what would fundamentally happen here is that something that a company has designed in our platform, like uh, a company like GE or whoever, they can execute the software across our network of, of miners, in effect. So each one of our networks, if you will, the thing in the middle, can process today a thousand transactions a second, just over a thousand transactions a second today. If we take one of these networks and we were to split them out like human cell division, as they grow and, and thousands and thousands of miners join the network, if we then split them out into isolated networks, much like human cell division, as what you see here on the screen, then we can, and each cell, if one cell processes 1,000 transactions a second, two cells processes 2,000 transactions a second, right? So why would we want, like, how does this benefit us? And why is this possible today with the Sparkster platform? So I, I wanna give you an example. Imagine you've got two companies. You imagine you've got HP and Panasonic. Is there ever a need for HP's customer database and Panasonic's customer database 
to be in the same database. There's not, right? And because of that, what we can fundamentally do is we can put them into two, di two separate networks, two separate clouds. Now let me give you another example how this might make sense. Suppose you want to build the next Uber or the next uh, Airbnb, a company that has millions and millions of transactions a second, oh sorry, thousands and thousands of transactions a second. In one cell, we're going to have the customers whose first name begins with A, and in, a, in another cell, we'll have all the customers whose name begins with B, right? And we can split them up this way. So does Andy's you know, history of, of trips ever need to know anything about Bill's history of trips? Absolutely not. We've got a natural place in which we can, we can divide an application. And so all the A's, the Andy's, and so forth, you know, they, have, they, they enjoy a thousand transactions a second, all the B's enjoy a thousand transactions a second, and so forth. And this is how we achieve millions and millions of transactions a second. But the key here is isolation. One cell has no knowledge of another cell and has no need to communicate with another cell. That's why there's no overhead and we get, we get linear growth as we add cells. That's the big idea. So I'm going to play you a quick video of what this looks like in reality. So this is the decentralized network, and I want you to think about this network of thousands of nodes as a cell. And as these nodes divide, this is how we're increasing our TPS. I'm going to quickly move forward. All right, so this is our roadmap. You guys can take a look at this on our website. Next slide, please. We're advised by people from MIT, a, prof a professor, an expert in computer languages. We're advised by um, a senior vice president at SAP who used to also work at Oracle. Next slide, please. Uh, this is my team. We're a team of 22. We have three offices. We have an office in Orlando, Florida, in the United States. We have an office here in London, in Liverpool Street. We have an office in Bangalore, uh, in India. Uh, we are represented by all these, you know, we, we've worked in all these companies. So. We have an ICO right now. Um, our pre-sale is open. We're on stand 117. Please come and see us. Thank you very much for your time.